And we welcome you to Biblical Strategies Today, featuring pastor, teacher, and author, Phil Moser. I'm Scott Foreman. Phil, thanks for taking the time to share with us some Biblical Strategies today. It's good to be with you, Scott. Thank you. You know, Phil, I don't know about you, but it seems like a lot of people worry um, about just common everyday things in life. And it's almost become just such a common part of life, almost that it just goes unchallenged. Yet the Bible would say that worry is sin. So I obviously don't want sin to have any foothold in my life. So how can I tell the difference between concern for something and actual worry? Well, one of the things I notice, Scott, is that my wife will always tell me, often tell me, when I'm saying, oh, I'm just concerned about something, she says, no, you're not, you're worrying about it, okay? So for all of us, I think we struggle with that in defining the difference between those issues. A number of years ago, a friend of mine introduced me to this uh, set of three circles that really helped me understand what was going on and how I should address each of these. So if you can think in terms of a center circle and then a middle circle and then an outer circle, and then these three words, uh, the word control, the word concerned, the word consumed. And in the center circle, you want to put, it's the smallest circle, of course, you want to put the word control. This is your circle of control. This is the things that we actually have some degree of control over. Generally speaking, that's only about the things that affect us, not about another person. But in that circle, we're asked to do those things. We're asked to, as it were, obey God. So um, we would say something like Philippians 4.13 would remind us of this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So whatever is in my circle that God has asked me to be responsible for, I can control those things. The second circle is the word concerned, and this is where I get involved with others. So um, in the word concerned, let's say I'm concerned about how my kids are growing up, or I'm concerned about the friends they might have, or I'm concerned about what's going on in my church or at my work. In that circle, I want to put the word not obey, but the word trust. So what I'm concerned about, I'm going to have to trust the Lord with. It's the outer circle, I think, that gets us in trouble. And that's the word consumed. And in that circle, I put the word worry. So I go with control, I obey the Lord in those things. Consume, concerned, I just want to trust the Lord in those things. But when I get in the consumed circle, I'm worrying. And that means that when I wake up in the morning, I'm consumed with it. When I go to bed at night, I'm consumed with it. I'm always thinking about that issue. And so worry really becomes, doesn't it, an issue of the mind first what we're always thinking about. So that circle has helped me because one of the things that I notice immediately is that when I'm in the consume circle, I'm out of touch with the control circle. That is the circle of the things God has asked me to be responsible for. So suddenly, and I know this when I talk to others, things start to fall down that I should be doing because I'm just worrying all the time and consumed about something that I can't do anything about. And I think Jesus confirms that in Matthew 6 when he says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So concentrate in the things you can do something about and obey the Lord in those things. And when you are concerned, trust the Lord, but steer clear of that consumed circle because that's where worry resides. You know, Phil, in my own life, when I think about things I've worried about in the past, um, it almost comes back to me almost believing that God is not capable of doing something, me not trusting the Lord Correct. in this particular circumstance. And then I just have to get back to what the Bible says about who God is. Yeah, and that's a and I think that's a lesson for that that's a lesson we have to discuss in future podcasts here is because it really does have to do with the character of God far more than it has to do with our circumstances. Well, worry is something we can all struggle with and in his powerful and widely used book Safe in the Storm Biblical Strategies for Overcoming Anxiety. Phil exposes anxiety for what it is and provides practical, ready-to-use tools and resources to help you begin to apply God's solutions to worry for your life. Just go to biblicalstrategies.com, click store at the top of the page there to order your Safe in the Storm package today, which includes a book, a study guide, and a really helpful scripture retrieval system. You can go online or call us toll free at 877-772-1992. That's 877-772-1992. Real quickly, Scott, that biblical strategy circle, those circles I explained, are all found in the back of the book, Safe in the Storm. So it's a great tool for them to even get uh, a closer understanding of that concept today. Check us out online and we'll talk to you tomorrow.